hi friends welcome back to laravel 8 tutorial in this video we will learn about http client http client allow you to quickly make outgoing http request to communicate with other web applications so to make a request you may use to get put patch and delete methods so let's use some methods so first of all we need to add the controller so first we will create a controller and inside the controller we will add some function and we will call different type of request so to create a controller we will use php artisan make controller and suppose my controller name is request controller okay so my controller created successfully and if you go to the directory so inside the http controllers we will get the request controller so my controller is ready so let's run the application php artisan sub okay so our application is running actually here we will use the json placeholder we can easily test api so just find the json placeholder here so just type json placeholder and you will get some fake online rest api testing so here you can see there are different get post put patch delete so let's we'll create some and we'll explain how it is working actually so here you can see so if you click on this link so here you can see there are number of records so inside the json placeholder dot type code dot compost so if you call this using our laravel application so we can get this result through our application so how we can access the external url with our application so i will show you so here my control name is that is a rest controller so here i am creating a function that is public function suppose my function name is get all post so i'm using this and i'm using the response variable here so using the response variable we'll get all the requested things so just call the http and get the url okay so i'm using the http here so we need to just use use illuminate support facets http and let's call the url so here my url is json placeholder type code post and and just to return the response that is written response and we will find this response inside the json format so just call the json function and just call the get all post function through web.php so open the routes that is web.php so call this method that is route and my method name is get suppose i am using the all post url and after that i need to use the controller name so here my controller name is request controller so i am using the request controller and after that the class and we need to add the method name so here my method name is get all post that's all and here i am providing the name that is post dot all okay so if we call we can get this get all function so before that we need to use so here we'll use app http controller which is the namespace of this controller and after that we'll write the controller class so here my class name is request controller so just add it here and just call this all post url so we will get the all request from this function so here is my project and click on all post so here i will get the all request so in the json placeholder file project 
we are getting this result so the same things we are getting from our project also so this is the basic get response and now i am going to fetch a single record from this so here i am creating another function to get the single record so here i am creating the public function get single post and here i will provide the post id and in the same way i am using the response and using the http and the gate method and the url will be the same that is this and last we'll pass the id to fetch the single record and just use the response return so in json format and just call the single post from the web.php so in the same way we will use this so here my method name is get all post and i am using the name the post single okay and my url that is single post okay so just run the url so just go to the browser and to run the url so we need to add the url okay before that here in my controller i am taking the dollar id so we need to pass the dollar id so using this id we will pass the individual record so i am going to fetch the record 3 so we need to use the single post after the 3 so we will get the only single record that is from id 3 so now we can understand how to fetch records and how to fetch all records and how to fetch single record so now i want to add some post here so how to add the post so create another function that is public function add post and here i will create a variable that is post and i am using the http and after that we will use the post method so this method will add some data so here i will add the same url so my url is http json holder whatever we have and after that we will create an array to add record so just add so here we can see there is title and body so i will pass that is title uh, suppose my title is my first title and i will pass the body suppose in my body i am passing that is learning points youtube channel okay so let's add this inside the route so just the same way i am using the add post that is post dot add and here my url is add post i don't need to pass this so remove this and my function name is add post and we need to add the response that is while adding the response will appear so same way we will add the response and that is dollar post json so just run this url so i am running this so here we can see the must my first title and learning points youtube channel and the new id is generated to 101 so now let's update data so to update data we need to add another function that is public function suppose update post okay and we need to use the same so i'm just copying from previous and here i need to use the put method so here i will use the post put method so here i am writing my post title updated 
and body learning points youtube channel so i need to pass the id to update this so i am just updating the one here so it will update the id one so just run this update post so here in the route we need to use that is update post and my alias name is post dot update and here my method name is update post okay so if you run this so we'll get your post is updated so post updated so now you can see in the id my first title updated and body is the learning points youtube channel so we can update through our application so and the last we need to delete some records so to delete we need to create another function that is public function suppose delete post okay and i am passing the id so basically this will be deleted so just use the dollar post and use the http and use the delete method so our url is the same that is i'm calling using the delete method and i'm returning the response so just to return dollar post json okay to register this delete post from routes so here just route that is delete post and my method name is delete post okay and i am passing the post dot delete so here i am passing the id so we need to pass the id so here i am passing the dot id so let's call this url so i am using the delete post url and i want to pass the delete post from two and just enter this so here you can see no records that means the deleted so that's all about http client so in this way we can call http request through laravel please comment if you have any queries next day i will discuss about laravel session please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye